Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Happy Thanksgiving. It's almost Thanksgiving. Are you cooking? Are you living in the kitchen? I know. It's the night before Thanksgiving and we're actually celebrating Thanksgiving twice this year. So we're having two days of it. So today we were going to be home. We're doing a lot of prep and cleaning and all kinds of different things like that. And cooking had to run to the co-op. I just walked in the door. So today, look here, I have a huge crock pot of homemade potato soup. If you've not tried my potato soup recipe, you need to do that. It's delicious and it lasts forever. But I, we also like to serve it with bread. I've shown it with crusty bread before. We have homemade bread. You can do rolls, whatever's convenient for you, okay? But I keep running into the issue of people saying, bread is complicated, bread is complicated. No, it's really not. I'm going to show you how easy this was to make. I'm going to give you the recipe and we're going to finish making the loaves together and it's delicious and everybody's going in and out. We're feeding the animals. We're getting everything cleaned up. We're working. It's that type of night. It's that type of time of year. So we have to have something quick, easy, and delicious and you can make bread. Okay, so here we are nine hours later nine hours later. Let me show you what this is looking like. I'm making a double batch because one, one batch is not enough for my family. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's warm. This has been sitting in my den by that gorgeous fire. You can even have it sitting by your stove if you're cooking and stuff in the, in the kitchen. If your kitchen is warm, you want this to take action. Let me tell you what's in here. I'm going to put it down below so there's no mistake, okay? And you can change it up in some ways. This is six cups of all-purpose flour. Six. I then added, now you can add as much salt as you want. I only do about two to three teaspoons and kind of whoop, 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 whoop. That's all I did. And then I did a generous teaspoon of yeast. And then all I did was whisk that up. So you had three ingredients right there. Flour, salt, and yeast. That is it, people. Now, what I then did is come in and added three cups of lukewarm water. You can add honey uh, and also kind of sweeten it up with your wet goods and just, just mix it up. Mix it up. It was wet and it was low and I covered it and I've been letting it sit all day. Now, while it was dry, you can add herbs as well if you want to. Rosemary bread. So before you add your water or your honey in there with it to make it wet like this, so it'll build and, and rise and do all the things that you're going to want it to do, you could add your herbs then. So what I'm going to do right now is, oh, oven is ready to rock and roll. So what I'm going to do is then place my Dutch oven into the oven for heating up. Let's show you. Okay, it's this simple. Floured my hands, separated this, grabbed half of it, plopped it in the Dutch oven right on top of the parchment paper. It is that simple. Now we're going to place the lid. We're going to put it in the oven that is set and ready to rock and roll at 450. We're going to bake this bread for about 25 minutes or so. Keep an eye on it. And then you can judge if you want to remove the lid to continue to bake this and make it a little bit crispier. That's going to be up to you. So eyeball it a little bit, 25, 30 minutes, somewhere in that ballpark, okay? So let's get her in the oven and we'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Okay, guys, 25 minutes at 450 covered is what I've done, okay? And the timer's still going off. Let's see how it looks. Woohoo! Looky there. Now, let's see here. It's very hot. Very, very hot. Still just a little bit doughy. I'm going to put it in uncovered for about five minutes. I don't want mine hard, 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 hard crispy. So if you do, you might want to do it for 10. Eyeball it. But I'm going to put it, place it back in the oven for about five more minutes. And then we will go from there. All right, guys. Five minutes is all it took. So 25 with the lid, took the lid off, and did five more minutes at 450, and check it out. It is hot, hot, hot. 
I've prepared my soup. There's my potato soup back there. You can check out that recipe. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this particular batch out, whoop, this loaf out. I'm gonna put in a new parchment paper because you want your Dutch oven to be hot before you bake. So we just go from one to the other. And then I'm just gonna flour up just a little bit. I'm gonna just take this, plop it in there, and so while we're beginning to enjoy the first loaf and our first helping of soup, the second is baking. And trust me, we will get to the second loaf. Like I said before, you can make it in a larger Dutch oven. I have done that, but you will need to put parchment paper on the bottom between the loaves and put parchment in between the loaves because it will, be, it will stay doughy, okay? So just to let you know, you can do that. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but I do like to bake them separate. It just forms a nicer shape. It's just for a visual effect. It doesn't change the taste or quality of the bread, so do what's easy for you. All right, we're gonna move it on and enjoy dinner. Hope y'all are having a great Thanksgiving week. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next video. Get making some bread, because you can do it. <laughs>